Okay. I, th I think you guys can hear me now, right? Somebody let me know something. I'll go to the comments. Can you all hear me now? Please to tell me something. I'm waiting. Yes, Herbie said yes. Thanks, buddy. Okay. It's a little windy up here. So that's why my hair's all over the place. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to the show. This is the show. This mug's for you, meaning the coffee mug. And I got out of the shower a little while ago, and I didn't want to comb my hair. I wanted to show you guys, Herbie. This is a real hair. It's not a wig. See? And it remind me of corn, huh? The cornfields. Anyway, I want to say good morning to Sophia. Good morning to Carol, Herbie. Who else do we have? Christine. Christina. Um, I hope you're alone, honey, not with your daughters. So. Jose, good morning, Jose. Uh, let's see, who else is on here? I'm on here. Sean Marie German, good morning. Please tell me where you're texting from. You must be new. Good morning, Becky. And my buddy, Becky. Yeah, it is all natural. Talking about my hair. Good morning, Debbie. Sean Murray, can you please tell me where you're texting from, dear? Hudson, Wisconsin. Cool. We love the people in Hudson. We want to get more of them. So you got to comb this back here. Everybody says, why don't you cut your hair, you know? And I tell them this. I'm 73 years old. and I'm very proud of all my hair. Because it, it reminds me of my heritage. Hello, Flo. We're doing good today. Um, as you know, tomorrow is going to be Easter. And hopefully the Easter Bunny will bring you your eggs. Mary Erickson, good morning, good morning. For Sean, let me tell you something, dear. Let me tell you what this whole show consists of, okay? First off, we pray for people. Secondly, it's a lot of love. This is like a family. You're not a fan of the show. You're a family member, okay? So I don't like that word. Now, what I do, I'm going to be, in fact, Monday, everybody, Monday, I will have my 20 years of being a psychic medium. And on this show, I look at your name, and I say your name in my head three times, and something comes out of your name that I have to either warn you about, tell you about something. So I always say, once you log on, do not log off, because there could be something later on in the show that I'm going to tell you, and you're gone. So it's always good to pay attention and stay with the show, regardless of how goofy it gets, okay? Because I have the tendency to be goofy. In high school, I was a class clown, and I got kicked out of class out of how many times. And Faye would walk by, you know, because we went to high school together. Faye would see me in the hallway and just go shaking her head. I should have said, come here, you know, but no. I just didn't think a girl like her would be with somebody like me at that time. But I was wrong, and here we are married, going on seven years now. Yeah, Herbie, I was always 
you know, the one thing that this guy named our teacher named Mr. Thel, he hated me saying, oh, man. And he said, get out. I went, man, get out. So I had to get out. Mm. Salute, everybody. Cheers. Lachaim to your health. Bottoms up, all the good stuff. Yes, every Tony Tell. He was my teacher, believe it or not. And Faze. He thought he was Mr. High and Mighty, you know, but he learned. Anyway, hope everybody had a good week so far. Hope you're getting your Easter dinner together. That's what Faye's doing. Um, we have family coming over today. And then tomorrow it's going to be Faye and I and hopefully my daughter, Maria. And let me say this, folks. My daughter, my two daughters, Alicia Maria Garza, or I don't know if she's still using Garcia. She's divorced now, but I don't know. But Alicia Maria Garza. And Maria Lorraine Garza Dorman, okay? Or Dorman Garza, whichever way you want to put it. Those are my two daughters. Tuesday, April 2nd, they're going to be operated on in different hospitals. Okay, mama's going to be at one hospital with Alicia. And Faye and I are going to be with Maria in the other hospital. So I ask for your prayers for my daughter, Maria, and prayers for my daughter, Alicia. Hello, Joe Hernandez. Now, in the beginning, so you know, uh, Sophia, I think you've been on here before, but I don't remember where you're from. Sean, in the beginning, we say hi to everybody like the first half hour. And then when I say let's go to work, that means I'm going to start doing readings so you know. And I don't do long readings. I give you something like real quick. If it's something I have to stay with, I will stay with you to get it all out. Okay. I'm going to show it back. Wrong side. That's the weird part about it. You don't know what side to come because you. Oh, well. I'll go with that. Can't be perfect all the time, Sean. I know it's perfect, but I can't be. Um, there's some things that are happening on the news and all that, but I don't want to go into all that. Willa, thank you, Willa. And where have you been? We still do the show Wednesdays at 4 o'clock, and we do this show at 1030. Vanessa, buenas tardes a ti también. Gusto verte. Now, Faye is going to be off today. She's going to be getting the family dinner all together. And I still have my craving for enchiladas. I didn't go out for them yet. Trev Winberg, good morning. And please tell me where you're texting from. That name looks familiar, but I can't think right now. No, I didn't cut my hair. Mira. It's still long back here. I just got came out of the shower and I wanted to show everybody it's not a wig. The new Richmond, cool. Trevor, you know the thing is, I was telling Becky, Becky Baker, that I want to do a thing over there, over there in New Richmond, like a, a afternoon with me or a night with me, something at some restaurant if that's possible. I know it looks shorter in the front because that, that's the way I comb it. Mira. 
But I just want to show everybody it's not a wig, it's real hair. And for 73, I'm glad. I thank the Lord he gave me a full head of hair. And my father. And my mom. And my grandpa. If you ever seen the movie The Wild Bunch, there's a Mexican general on there who has a lot of hair. Believe it or not, folks, that's my grandpa. Maybe the 45th parallel. Where's that at? I, I've never heard that. And is it a bar or what is it? Here's the thing. I don't want to do readings in bars because you get somebody at the bar who's drinking, and next thing you know, they start yelling and things like, ah, that's a bunch of bold, you know, and they go on and on and on. And I don't want to have to confront somebody at my age. If I do, I don't know if I'll last the whole deal. So good morning, CJ. Good to see you, dear. And Vanessa back in Spain. Vanessa, what part of Spain? Because I was going to tell you, that's where my ancestors come from. They they come from uh, Portugal, Portugal, and then from Spain. But that would be cool, Sean, you know, the private ballroom. But I want to have dinner or something, you know. Because here's the deal. The more relaxed you guys are and the more relaxed I am, the better the readings. Vanessa, I think that's on my list and on my uh, family tree. Where the hell is it? Here it is. We still haven't unpacked it from the from the shop, you know. This is the Garza family tree. And at the beginning, <laughs> let's see, where is it? Um, da -da 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 -da. I come from uh, some of my, my ancestors, Juan Jose Alonso de Sosa y Cordova Sr. And the Rebanales y Mesa, and also from Father, the death of Father Alonso Fernandez de Mesa, the off of Spain, from Sevilla, Sevilla, Spain, Andalusia, Andalusia, Spain, Cordova. Andalusia, where else? Real, Lugo, Galicia, Spain. These are all Spaniards. But anyway, I don't want to keep going into that. But and also the Canary Islands. I have family that, that went to the Canary Islands and I think claimed something there. Okay. So, good morning, Denise. And let's see. Yes, we say Happy Easter first off. And in our language, we say Felicidades al Día de Pascual. Pas Some people say Pascal and it's Pascual, from what I understood. Or they say, El Dia del Conejo. Conejo is a rabbit. Eric, good morning. Good morning. You must be with Christina. Is, are you guys husband and wife? Or boyfriend and girlfriend? Or shacked up together? No. So. <laughs> good morning, everybody. And we're going to have a really big queue. Okay. So Eric's going to claim you, Christina. 
16 years, good for you, girl. I, I couldn't last 16 months. But I'm with one now. I'm going on seven years. And we talked about things last night, and that made me feel good. I asked her straight out, would you ever divorce me? And she looked at me, and she goes, hell no. I said, good, because I'll never divorce you either. I'm happy where I'm at, you know, the, the situation. It's cool. Then my buddy Richard Dearden. Richard, uh, maybe sometime off screen we can talk because you need to start helping. The spirits told me yesterday, you need to start helping people. I'm going to put this up. Thank you, Jose. You know, this kind of music in the background, it, it brings me, like, floating to my ancestors. On one part, I come from, I'm half Portugal, I think, and half Spain, Spaniard. And on my grandma's side, I'm Comanche, Apache, and Mexican. As the Herbie says, by the way, you were right. I did work out a deal with the new owners. I told you, buddy. Told you. Don't panic. Everybody panics too quick. It's easy to panic, but if you really sit down and analyze things, it'll go your way. Claim it, and it'll be yours. I've been claiming the lotto for I don't know how long. But one day, the good Lord. Here's the thing. A lot of people want the lottery money. Because they want to buy, 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 buy. You know, buy whatever, the bling blings and all that stuff, which is stupid to me. The reason I want a lot of money is, like I said before on the show, I would share it forward, you know. You're not going to take it with you. And you're talking millions. Like the guy that in New Jersey that won over a billion, billion point two, I think it was. How much of that are you going to really spend? And how much of that are you going to be sad that you got it with you? You know, it's just, if you do something for people, I've been looking and watching these deals that they have on, on Facebook, these little real deals. And I, I'm hoping that it's true, but they show people that are kind of poor, and then these guys come and give them money and all that. Like one of them, a guy went to a work site and he had a, a doggy bag or a box, you know, and it said, told the guys, he said, what would you rather have, a beer or a meal? And they all took the beer and inside the, the meal was money taped up inside the box. This one lady, one lady on the job site, she said, I'd rather have the meal for my son. She said, it's hard for me to feed him because I don't make enough money. And he and the guy said, is your boy here? He goes, yeah. So they went and got the kid. They said, are you hungry? And he goes, I'm very hungry. He said, good, come on. He said, let me buy you both something to eat. So he took him to a restaurant and all that and was talking about the situation and whatnot. And then he said, you know what? He goes, I got to be truthful. He goes, this box is your box. He goes, she goes, no, we just ate. He goes, no, take the box, open it. He opened it up, and there was the money. She cried and cried and cried, and so did the little boy. That, to me, is, that's like me. I would do something like that. Not for the glory of it. The glory goes to God. But the, the fact that I can help somebody and make them happy, just in that one little moment, this is what I mean by paying it forward and passing it on, you know, because you're not taking it with you. It's not like they're going to have bundles and everything and put it in your coffin, put it in your gravesite, and then bury it. Nobody's going to do that. Good morning, Polly. Good to see you. Let me see what CJ says. You know, my last name is Pentecost. My middle name was from Germany. Very blessed to have it. Easter is my favorite. Good for you, dear. Good. Always be proud of your name. I am. I'm very proud of my name. 
And I'm very proud of my grandpa. Now, like I said, if you ever seen the movie, it's called The Wild Bunch. It's William Holden, Ernest Borgnine, uh, Warren Oates, and Ben Johnson. And then, of course, my grandpa, Emilio Fernandez. He's the general on the show, the Mexican general. And he's been in a lot of shows. And he's also the one that posed for the statue, the Oscar. He posed for that. And they made the Oscar out of his image. And it even says on uh, Wikipedia, I think it's called. And I'm proud of that. I really am. And my mom used to say he was my grandpa. And I said, no, he ain't. Yes, he is. He really is. No. Then she told me the story behind it. And I went, oh, okay. I guess he is. So, with that, we're almost coming up on the bewitching hour, as they say. Anybody got any questions before we start anything or have anything you want to say? Salud to your health. Cheers, bottoms up, all the good stuff. Sclanche. Anyway, we're going to be starting. When I say let's go to work, that means I'm going to start reading, so be ready. Well, Becky, you don't have to put this. I like it. But that's why I'm here. Trev, just hang on now. In, in fact, Trevor, I'll tell you what. In your household, I'm picking this up right now. It's either you, Christina, or one of you kids. I'm getting an elbow right away. Jackie Marsh, where have you been, girl? I haven't seen you for a long time. And how are things across the pond? Have I ever seen a U-Haul truck behind a hearse? No. What? No? Oh, you mean to carry the money? No, never. I'm debating on getting my maiden name back. What are your options? Be who you are, not by by somebody else's title. If you're divorced from that person, you know, when I went to court, you know, I don't mean to bring this up, but when I went to court and was divorcing my wives, per se, they would say, Mr. Garza, what is it that you want? And I would just say, Your Honor, I don't want anything. I just want my name back. And that was it. Boom. I didn't want them to use my name, in other words. You did not send me the number of that phone. I gave it to your sister, Joe. Rachel's got it. I sent it to her. Been fostering a little boy who lost. Oh, sorry to hear that, dear. But good for you for, or they say good on you for taking care of that little boy. Okay, so that would be at one o'clock then, Mary. Right after our show, an hour later, Wendy should be back on again. And we watch her, too. There's my buddy, Randy. Good to see you, Rand. And thank you, Jose. Please hit the thumbs up button, the like button, and also share the show with your family, your friends, your groups. Because let me tell you, folks, they are watching our show. 
I don't know who's in the background or whether it's Facebook, whether it's uh, Streamline or Streamlink, whatever the hell they call it, but they're watching the show. So please hit the like button, the thumbs up button, and share it, okay? That does me a lot of good. All right, Trev, I need to know whether or not I'm picking up somebody's elbow. I know I am in that household. It could be from a fall. It could be there's something wrong, like the, it's out of joint, something. Randy, I cannot remember your brother's name right now, but I get somebody named Larry. I don't know who that is. Okay, Trev, mark it down then, because if it hasn't happened now, it could happen later. And I don't mean to put nothing on you, but it does work that way. Trust me. Yes, Larry. Okay. Larry's your brother, didn't I take it? Because, man, my mind is all over the place. Okay, thank you. Oh, everybody, there's my daughter, Maria, the one I tell, told you about to pray for. She goes by Maria Caballero. But the, the Maria LG is for Lorraine Garza Caballero, okay? Which means a caballero is a cowboy, a horseman. Hello, Linda. Good to see you. Randy, what is up with Larry's stomach? I'm getting his stomach for some odd reason. Linda, honey, please be careful not to fall, okay? Oh, you threw the Guadalupe in there, huh? Well, that's good because that's representing the Holy Mother. I love that. But you can throw Garza in there, too, if you want to. Okay, you're not sure, but you'll ask him. Okay, because I'm picking up his stomach for some reason, okay? I'm going to go back to Trevor. Trevor, I don't know if you had a falling out with a friend of yours, a guy that you knew or a family member or something. But this guy wants to come back and he wants to talk to you and kind of like either make up or, or talk about what happened. Okay? I'm picking that up. Joe Vasquez, please be careful. One of the younger kids, one of the boys, doesn't get sick. Okay? Kind of like fluish type. Stay on top of it. By the way, I'm, I'm going to work, everybody, so you know. Sorry, I didn't mention it. Good morning, Kathy Henley Little. I didn't see your name. You snuck by me. Now, everybody, you got to bear with me because I'm by my lonesome. Faye is making uh, dinner for the family, so. Trev, if you know who this guy is that you had a falling out with, just know that he wants to come and talk with you. Oh, boy. A 
Linda, I know the feeling real well. A lot of times I got to crawl to the stairs and pull myself up. Please be careful, okay, honey? All right, honey. My daughter Maria is going to go on Facebook and put the people over here. Still looking up and down on names, folks, just so you know. If you say, why is he taking his time? It's because I have to look at all these names that are on here and see if I pick up something. So I go all the way up to the top and go come all the way back to the bottom and then go all the way back up to the top again. Mary Erickson, I don't know why I'm getting this, but I'm getting your hand do this. I have that with this hand. So. If you're not shaking now, dear, know that it could happen later, okay? Jackie, I don't mean to bring this up, dear, but I'm curious to know. Was there somebody around you that had a fire? Either it's a house fire, a place where they were in a caught on fire. I just get a fire around you. That's from my friend Jackie Marsh across the pond. Holly, they're telling me to tell you to stop worrying so much. It's like you're taking on everybody's business and whatnot. And I think we talked about this before. And as far as taking your name back, dear, do what's good for you. Remember that. Becky, dear, you might have a tooth come out. All right? Remember that. If you dreamt about it, please let me know, and I'll tell you what it means about losing a tooth. CJ, why am I picking up your wrist? One of your wrists is bad. I'm picking it up. Good morning, Mary Lucia. Oh, boy. You're kidding me. Wow. Folks, Jackie, my friend from across the pond, is taking care of a, a boy, okay, like she's adopted him or whatever. And she's taking care of this boy who lost his mom. And on top of it, Jackie lost her mom. And I just asked her about a fire. I said, why am I getting a fire around you? And apparently the little boy had a house fire. This is the link, everybody. That my daughter put on so if you want to come off of facebook and you want to come on to youtube that's the link because of the mere fact that a lot of times we get those knuckleheads that try to hack us and let me tell you i've been getting a lot of those paulie if you want to dear we can connect after the show Okay. Might as well tell you now, Becky. Anytime, and this goes for everybody. Anytime you dream about being at a dentist and they're working on your teeth, that's a death in the family. Okay. 
Anytime you dream about a wedding, it's a death in the family. If you dream about a fire, house fire, whatever, that's money. These are all old remedies or legends from way, way back. And that's in the Latino thing, okay? I said hi to you in the beginning, dear. Remember? Uh, we need to all pray for this little boy. He's only seven years old. That Jackie has. Jackie, can you post his name, please? Sean Marie, it's good to see you on the YouTube side. Okay. There's the link, everybody. And you can see this is my daughter, Maria. You can see her picture. There's a resemblance, isn't there? <laughs> That's when I had my beard. All I had to do was paint myself all green. Okay, his name is Toby, everybody. We need to pray for little Toby. Okay? That kid's been through a lot. And still going through a lot. Losing his mom, you know. For those of you who are in New Richmond, Hudson, River Falls, all the surrounding areas, because we live in Baldwin, Wisconsin. So if you ever want to do a party or you ever want to do a backyard thing, or you ever want to do uh, a, at a restaurant or something, we will go. Faye and I will go. You know, we just want to make sure that everything's legit, number one, and the people pay in advance that, that I'm going to be reading. I don't want to do it in a bar, all right? You were just in Baldwin yesterday. While well, I was here. <laughs> we're right at on, on Highway Highway 12. No, we're on 12th Avenue and uh Franklin. Okay. Little Toby needs those. Love and hugs. That's great. Thank you, Mary. All right. Going back up again, everybody. Amy, I didn't see your name there, dear. All of a sudden, you popped up out of nowhere. Sophia Faye is getting uh, family dinner ready. So she's not going to be on today. She's not going to be on. Okay, where else was I? Mary, let's say I'm getting your foot for some reason by the ankle. If you haven't sprained your foot, please be careful not to slip on a little throw rug, okay? And you know I don't mean to pick on you. And where's Nancy, by the way? I don't see Nancy on here.
Wow, this is weird. It just had Amy's name and it's gone now. What the hell happened? Did you log off? Okay, I got to go back to my friend Polly. Polly, they are telling me to tell you, you need to take back your life and who you were. It's like you gave up on life. They want you to stand firm and be yourself again. Sean, I'm curious to know where did they go to Mass? I didn't even know there was a, a Spanish one here. And by the way, my dear friend Amanda Ward from across the pond, she went to Santiago, Spain, and she went to the church and did a video and sent it to me. And I told her, I sat in that church for three hours. I did not want to go home. But we had to catch a plane and all that. I didn't want to go. But it was the most serene and the most beautiful time I've ever had. It's just like nothing mattered outside the church. I was inside the church and I wanted to stay there. Beautiful church. Big cathedral. Christina, I don't mean to bring this up, but you need to know. Something might happen that's going to make you cry, but they're telling me to tell you it's not that all bad, okay? Or not all that bad. So if it happens where you get, like, somebody says something to you that shocks you and makes you cry, remember. They're on the spirits will be behind you, patting you on the back, saying it's not all that bad. Eric, I, I don't know if you've done something to hurt your back. Or if you're dealing with a back pain right now because I'm going to your lower back, please be careful. I don't want you to move any furniture, okay? Flo, who is Charlie? Carlos? I'm here in Charlie. I'm here in Chalillo. But it's around you. Denise, there's somebody around you who, to me, was a heavy smoker. And when they would walk, they had to drag one leg like they would hobble like that. It's a man. Vanessa, is there a young kid around you? I want to say 10 years old, 12 years old, or something like that. There's something inside his head. I'm going to say like a little tumor or something. It's like he, here's the way I get him. At one time he's good, the next time he's bad. 
like he lashes out. And it's not him. It's because of the thing in his head. It's like it presses against a nerve. Still looking at names, everyone, so you know. Sophia, I remember you were somebody's granddaughter, but I can't think of who. Was it Jan's or Sandy's? And where are, where are they at, I wonder? Okay, going back down, everybody, I'm going to start over again. If I haven't gotten to you, I will, okay? So be patient. And there's my buddy Christopher. Good to see you, my friend. Crystal Perez, if you can, honey, get off the Facebook and link on to um, ¿cómo se llama? Link on to uh, Streamlink. Stream is a Streamline, Streamlink, whatever the hell that is. Let me see if my daughter can put it up or if it's on here. Here you go. Everybody that's on Facebook, get on this, the YouTube one, okay? If you can get on that, that helps me keep away all the knuckleheads. Oh, Vicky Peasters, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I got it now. I know it was somebody's granddaughter. And I just told Denise about somebody who would drag a foot. He had hip surgery, also smoked. Okay, that's perfect. If he's still with us, it's like if he's sleeping, his spirit is with you. Because it separates. Lisa Cantu is back, everybody, from her little ocean voyage. Good to see you, dear. And we hope, we're hoping that Tina's doing good. Not that we don't care about you, because me and Faye were talking about you girls before. We said, man, that would be cool to get together with them again. That was fun. Okay, St. Pat's and Hudson has a Spanish mass time and time, not every week. Okay. Maybe they need me to go in there, huh? Hell, the whole church would probably fall. <laughs> okay. Now I'm getting this all. You guys, you know, tell me. Eh? I don't know. Okay, and Grandpa that used to walk like that has passed. Dear, he's around you. He has his hand on your shoulder, just so you know. Sean, maybe they knew that maybe they do need me to be there to speak up for the people. I don't know. I've had a lot of people, and this is no lie. On this show, since I've been doing this show. My main objective is to have my own church. And a lot of people said they would go to it if I had one. Maybe that's it. I don't know. But my church is going to be, like, real, you know? None of this phony, I see, da 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 No. I tell it the way it is. The way I see it is the way I'll give it to you. And I want to have my own church because I want to first off preach to the people and t tell them, you know, straighten out your lives and everything. 
And secondly, I want to like read for them as I'm there walking in between the aisles and whatnot, you know. Your notification got turned off. What? It's a good thing you reminded me about that. I had a notice from California from Faze and mine. Uh, she's Let's see, how would this go? Great, great niece. No, the great niece contacted me because her daughter, the great, great niece, is having problems with um, one of her lungs shut down and the other lung is working on 60%. Her name is Ava Ava. And the last name was, uh, come on. Man, this is what happens when you hit my age. <laughs> but just think in your mind, California and Ava, okay? A-V-A. -A. Ava. Her daughter is the one that's in the hospital. Lisa said she's feeling better because she brought back COVID from the cruise. That's why I don't trust. Here's the thing. Those cruises don't care about people. I mean, all they care is about is loading up the, you know, like cows and getting them on the ship. And once they do that, they don't wipe everything down that I'm aware of. And that's what they need to do. My sister-in-law and her, her friend got sick too on a cruise. And they got COVID. Maybe it was the same ship. I don't know. Anyway, let's go back some more, okay, everyone? We go to the top and then start our way down. Okay. Carol, I am getting, if you're still with me, I am getting money for it, for you. It's like you're going like this, counting the money, and then you go brr, brr, with bills, brr, like that, like a card deck. But it's money, it's bills, tens, fives, twenties. Remember that. Okay, going back again. Okay, we've been talking to Sean. Becky, if you know of a house, it's white. The house is white, but the paint is peeling. There's like either in the back or on the side a uh, stairway that goes up one landing and then the other landing goes up to the second floor that landing they're telling me that whole stairway thing is wobbling and you need to put either a, a rope on it at the beginning so nobody goes on it anymore and tear it down i don't know if you know where this house is but it's white paint it's peeling and the stairway going up to the second floor has one landing and then another one goes up. That thing hold, it wobbles and eventually it's going to wobble all the way off. And people say, how do you see that? I don't know. 
I just see what I see. You're not going to get off that easy, kiddo. Oh, damn. I don't know where you're going to be if you're going to go to a bar and do the, the peel deal. Remember when we were at that one and you were doing the peels? You know, what do they call it? Pull tabs? I see you with a big chunk of money in your hand going like this. So remember that. And if it's a big chunk, you know where I live. <laughs> Let's see, where else am I going? As I'm doing this, I want to wish everybody a happy Easter from me and Faye. And hopefully you'll have a good one. And tomorrow is my day number one, because if you all know, my stage name is Roger Rabbit. Number two, on Monday, for those of you who have, who have forgotten, but I'm going to keep on telling you, on Monday, I will have 20 years of being a psychic medium. But like I tell everybody, I'm extra large. Well, they're telling me to tell you to calm down. It's like you're yelling at everybody. Calm down, dear. It's not that bad. I know they, the kids don't want to listen and whatnot, but just don't make yourself sick over there not listening, okay? You can't control them. Just leave them be. Just say, I told you guys, if something happens, it's up to you. Vanessa, for some odd reason, they're telling me to tell you to go see the Padrecito. I, I don't know which one or what's what. But they're telling me for you to go get blessed by the Padre, okay? So I don't know what church you used to attend or whatever. I'm going to go this way, Trevor. If, and I hate to bring this up, okay? If someone lost a baby, I'm going to say whether it be by miscarry or by abortion, that baby is tugging on your beard. And I see it doing this to you. So please keep that in mind. I don't know whose child it is. CJ, there's something that's going to come in the mail, like either, uh, like, a, here's the way I would look at it. If, if you got a Social Security check and they cut you short on some of it, don't get upset. Don't fly off the handle. Just handle it like a professional, okay? And they will see the mistake. Please, everyone, if you could add Patricia Bailey to your list. Okay. Vanessa, we talked about this before. Preparando, you know, the preparation to go to the other side. Remember that. 
all you can do is make them comfortable comfortable and i i forget what what nationality it is i think it's danish or something they open up the window a little bit so that the spirit can go freely okay Still looking at names, everyone. Eric, I told you before about moving furniture and your back and everything. Now I'm getting your shoulder for some reason. I don't know if you go to a chiropractor, but I think you need to go to like a neurologist. I'm getting like a pinched nerve. Richard Dearden, now it's my turn, buddy. I'm seeing an explosion about an apartment building or a building period. So remember that one. They take me back to you again, Polly. Don't you dare give up on life, girl. They want you to be the sassy Polly you were. The take charge Polly. It's your life. Remember that. And I'm here for you, kiddo. All you got to do is holler. Oh, Lord. Jackie, my friend Jackie from across the pond. The spirits are telling me that they're blessing you. And they do this, they grab, like, it's weird because it's like a big old bowl of stars. And they reach their hand and they go like this to you. So that the stars fall on you as blessings. So please note that, okay? And by the way, everybody, at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, which is going to be, I got 20 minutes left before 12. At 1 o'clock, Wendy was go is going to be back on again, our dear friend Wendy. Wendy and Phil are going to be back on. So I forget what coordinates it is, or, but it says the Wendy and Phil show, I believe. But they will be at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time. And please watch them. Okay. Randy, they're st telling me something about a bike meaning a motorcycle, okay? Or it could be a bicycle, I don't know. But they're telling me to tell you, never mind, leave it alone, if that makes sense to you at all. Kathy, are you, so aside from uh, Easter, if you make it, are you supposed to cook somewhere? Like go to a church, um, a hall of some type, like uh, VFW, American Legion, something. Are you supposed to cook for it or cook with other women? They're telling me to tell you everybody is like saluting you and doing this to you. Thank you. Okay. I know I only got 20 minutes, but I got to get some, some stuff behind me. So bear with me, folks. I'm just doing this real quick. And let's see what happens.
going up and down again. Now, when I'm looking at these names, everyone, I am concentrating and to see what comes out for you, okay? There, that's perfect. Amy, did we talk about before on a, on last show someone coming over that was like going to uh, be like a bad visitor or something? Because I'm picking this up. Someone that's going to come over that you really don't want there. Okay? Handle it properly. Don't fly off the handle. <laughs> And Mary Lasea, I don't know if you got back to me about your ankle, your foot, but I picked it up. I said about a throw run. Be careful not to slip on it. Now I'm going back to check and see the answers that I have. If anybody has a question that you want to know something about, please hit me up because we have somewhere in the neighborhood about 17 minutes left. You were on the phone, Mary. I asked you about your ankle or your foot. And I said, be careful not to go slip on a throw rug. And there's my friend, Nancy. How are you, Nance? Good to see you. And everybody, once again, from Faye and I, happy Easter. And we hope that you have a happy Easter with your families, okay? And those that live close by, remember, if you have a party, a backyard party, a inside party, or you want us to meet you at a restaurant or something, and we can read there, then by all means, get a hold of us, okay? Crystal Perez, you still did not get off of Facebook, dear. But I have not much time left, so it's okay, I guess. Somebody's coming for me, Crystal. Somebody's coming from out of town. One of them you might not like, and I'm going to say it's somebody's kid. Okay, so handle that properly. Christopher James, I see that you are healing well and things are getting better. And more power to you, my friend. We pray for you a lot, so we want you to get up there and get well. Lisa can't do. They're telling me something, honey. They're telling me something about your house. I don't know. While you were gone or whatever, something shifted. Like the house is off a little. And I'm going to go like the frame of the house or a frame of a doorway. If you go to a door and it doesn't shut right or it's hard to open, it's because there was a shift. <laughs> All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Doreen McAvoy, good to see you. I didn't know you were on. Rather late, dear. I don't know. Whether this would be Easter for you, Doreen, but they're telling me a big celebration because I see you clapping and the music's playing in the background. And this to me is like at a bar. Oh, 
Okay, you see that. Yes, but here's the thing, Lisa. You need to tell her that I said she needs to let the doctors do what they do, and she also needs to listen to what they tell her. Okay? And once again, everybody, we ask for prayers for little Toby, okay, who lost his mom. And we also ask for prayers... I'm asking for prayers for my, my two daughters, Maria and Alicia, who are having their operations on Tuesday. And also prayers for Jackie Marsh, Jackie Robinson Marsh, who lost her mom. All right. But anyway, as I do this, thank you, Randy. Tuesday, folks, no, Monday, I will have my 20 years in. And remember, I said about raising my prices up. So a half hour is going to be $80. An hour will be 100 okay? That's for a one-on-one. -on -one. T. Winters. What's the T for? I don't. Do you see my uncle Rodney? Skit, skits that, you know. First off, I don't know who you are. I don't know what the T stands for, and I don't know where you're texting from. That helps me a lot if I have all that. Kelly Anderson, you too. Where are you texting from, dear? But if you, I'm gonna say this real quick. Kelly, if you lost your husband, he's with you. Okay? I get somebody putting their hands, like, as you're sitting around your neck and doing this to you. And you must be new, so please tell me where you're texting from. And let me tell you, folks, a lot of people on this show will tell you, I'm very, very real. I've been doing this for Monday will be 20 years that I've been a psychic medium. And we're in Baldwin, Wisconsin. So those who are close by. Good, Christopher. You know what you need to do is go thank everybody there. Richard Dearden, we're going to connect afterwards, buddy. Just give me some time to, like, unwind, and I'll get a hold of you, because I do want to talk with you. There's a question for you, Lisa. You're welcome, dear. And CJ, so you know, if something else comes up, I will let you know. Oh, and by the way, tomorrow's Easter, so we're not playing. Mikey told me the family wants him to stay home. So, but I did go back to it. It was fun. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but. The blast? Was that about the blast, Richard? Because I said I saw a building explode. Girl, that's why I'm here. Remember, on the back of my card, it says Life Coach. I help everybody. No, they're telling me to tell you, Randy, no. 
stay off it. Okay? I remember a little story a while back. This husband bought his wife, and the family went in on it, and all the friends and everything. They bought her a motorcycle. She hit 50, and they bought her a motorcycle. And she drove it, got in an accident, and she died. And that's the God's honest truth. So if they tell me no, it's no. Okay, Ren? There, that'll work perfect there, Kat. If you can help out in the kitchen, do it, okay? Because they tell me, this is what they're telling me. When you cook for someone else, the love and the joy goes in the food, okay? And it's like a reward. How they, the smile on their face is the reward for you. There she is, everybody. Why can't you have your reversal? Although they told my daughter that too, and then they did it, and she went into a coma for nine days. It's scary stuff, I'll tell you that. Amy says, we never have a Okay, just so you know, dear, just so you know. Am I in the right profession? Please tell me what it is, and I will tell you yes or no. Is this my friend Maria Charles from down in Arizona or something? And yes, it has been a long time. Okay, my daughter's back. Doreen says, Yes, remember what I said about going to a party or a bar or something because I hear music and I see you clapping. That puts you in a happy mood. Stay with that. Sophia, I said a long time ago for Grandma to slow down. She's taking too much on. If you can help, honey, help her, okay? Like, Grandma, I got this. Go lay down. Go sit down. You know, do that. Thank you, Debbie. I will tell her. And once again, everybody, from Faye and I and my daughter, Maria, Happy Easter to you all. I was about to say Happy Esther. Hello. Randy, Doreen, Maria. Okay. Sean, Amy, Trev. Are you saying Happy Easter? Oh, you wanted to move over there. Okay. Please tell my mama is close by. Tell me my mama is close by. I miss her very much. Let me say this, Amy. If it was mama that always swept, she had an apron on and was doing sweeping all the time, then she's with you. Because I see somebody in your house sweeping the floor. Buddy, we want you around, okay? It's like we used to say in the CBs. We'd rather talk with you than about you. We pray for everybody on this show, and you know that. And everybody else prays with us. You go enjoy it. If they invite you to go, you go, girl. 
You have a good time, too. And remember, every clap, think of us, okay? Okay, keep that in mind. But remember what I said, Lisa, about the door. If the door doesn't shut right, like it doesn't meet the frame, or if it sticks and it's hard to open, then there was a shift in the house. In the foundation, I'll go with. There you go, Amy. This is from my daughter because she has the gift too. And we thank you for that. And remember what I said, Sophia. You help your grandma as much as you can. This is from my daughter, Maria, everyone. Remember this, Amy, and this is for everybody, even me included. I've always said this. Death is the other half of life. We are all going to meet together on the other side. It all depends on how you act on this side. And I always say this too. If you have something to repent, then repent. There you go, Amy. Jennifer from Staten Island, right? Hey, Roger, still looking into the... Well, you know what? I found it. It says uh, Staten Island 9. And it talked about a fire. So look it up that way. There's a station number nine, but there's also nine men that perished. Kelly Anderson from Devil's Lake, North Dakota. I don't know where that is, but I did, believe it or not, if you all remember when Big Bopper and Richie Valens and Buddy Holly died, while they died in, at the Surf Lake Ballroom, they did that gig, which is in Clear Lake, Iowa. And they died in a plane crash. But believe it or not, folks, I was one of the band members that finished their tour. And we were in North Dakota. And that's the truth. I still have my sweatshirt from that, from that gig. It doesn't fit, but I have it. This is from Richard Dearden down in Florida, everybody. If, if here's the thing, Richard, if you could take cookies to them, you know, something. Just show your appreciation, but because you're walking around and they got to be confined to that hospital. This is what Amy says. Girl, don't you ever carry any guilt about the other side. Nothing. And that goes for everyone. Do not feel guilty about anything. That's what Randy says. Please do, buddy. I don't mean to put, you know, the bust your bubble, but everybody needs you around. A lot of people count on you. So as they say, skull. You think I don't know? 
I'm a Viking fan from way back from when they started. Kathy Hanley, you're so welcome, dear. And have fun if you go to that dinner deal. Have fun. And if take a bite for me, okay? Oh, Tina. If you start coughing dinner, remember I'm not a doctor, everyone. But if anybody gets a bad cough, I just told my friend Ruben this because it's his son, Joto. Take a half a teaspoon of salt. Swallow it and then wash it down with water, little sips of water. It'll take it further down, and in 10 to 20 minutes, you should stop coughing. Amy, you're so welcome. You're a realtor. That was you that I got on the deal. Okay. See, here's the thing. I don't like to advertise for anybody because if something goes wrong, who gets blamed? Me. You might connect with another realty company, okay? So it's like you're going to go bigger and get more, more listings. But then eventually you'll leave this one behind and go with this one. Do I see anything? Where is it at? Do I see anything about mom's health? Is she limping when she walks? Christina, I get limping. Maria, you're from Minnesota. You must be related to Irene then. Or Patty. Or Micro. Or Ralphie. I know the whole family. Known them for years and years. Back to the 60s. And happy Easter to you, dear. Okay. That's because you're doing too much, Vic. Let people help you. It's about time you sit down for a while. You know, your grandma, sit down. Let the kids do it. Besides, I need you to come back on the show again. Give me your uncle's name, Trev. Same to you, Randy. Where's the skull, buddy? No skull. Everybody, please have a good, happy Easter. On behalf of myself, Faye, and my daughter, Maria, okay? That's a, Yeah, that's a good possibility, honey. I like that. That's a good concept. Now, here is my little friend from Staten Island, New York. And the, the first time she clicked on, I said, I keep getting the Staten Nine, the Staten Nine. And there's a, a, and I said, it has to do with firemen. So I looked it up, and there's a, a station number nine, but there was also nine firemen that perished. So, Jen, it's good to see you. Now, I'm going to be out next week, everybody. I'm already running over. Next week, I will be on at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Wednesday. Okay? That's called Latino Psychic Visions. It's the name of our company. For those of you who are close by, I'm in Baldwin, Wisconsin. If you ever want a reading from me, a one-on-one, -on -one, I just did a beautiful one yesterday. Please get a hold of us, all right? Go on our website, Latino Psychic Visions, Google it, and it will give you our phone number and our location, okay? I'm going to go downstairs and finally have something to munch on. Let's see. 
Sean, have a good Easter. Jose, question, Roger. I'm going to, I'm going to move to LA. Well, I'll put it this way. At the rate things are going right now, Jose, I would not go to California. No. Even questionable about Chicago, too. And there's a reason. Jennifer, if Dad is still around, I want you to be close to Dad. Devil's Lake is important. Okay. Well, next time we go to Grafton, we have to pull everybody from Devil's Lake and their surrounding area, okay? We got to go bigger and bigger because we do want to go back again. We had a good time. Even though we weren't many, we had a great time. There it is. And by the way, Randy, I don't know how you feel, but I'm glad they got rid of Cousins. He, was, he wasn't worth the money. And then he gets a bigger contract. I couldn't believe that. An hour and 40 minutes. Okay. Kathy Little, enjoy your whole Easter thing, dear. Have fun. And do some stirring so you put your magic in there, okay? Amy, you have a blessed Easter, too. Her hip bothers her. Mom, no wonder I got the limping thing. All right. Help her if you can, dear, okay? Pick up the slack for her if, if you buy her. I don't see any cancer this time, Christina. Okay. Well, Maria, you please say hi to everybody for me, okay? Tell them that you that you saw a show, and this is my nickname up here. Tell them that Fatty was on F A T T Y. They know me by that name. Maggie, hello, boy. I'm a boy. Pasó. All right, everyone, I got to get out of here. I'm way over time now. Swallow the water. You'd be surprised what that does. A half a teaspoon of, of salt. Just like that, swallow it, and little sips of water to make it wash down further. It will stop you from coughing. I know it will because it's an old remedy I got from my great-grandma. All right, now we got Kathy Little and Lisa on here. You guys ready? We got to go. Loving here. I want to put this on. Thank you, CJ. Loving prayers to you and Faye. Happy Easter. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Amen, Drew. Amen. Thank you all for being here today. I hope I helped somebody. And remember, as we every show, because while you were gone, Lisa, Kathy was helping me. And so we got to put Lisa on now. Love everyone you can on this earth. Why? Because love is life, and life is love. I will be on Wednesday at uh, 4 o'clock. Do not forget my friend Jonathan Keyworth. It says JK-47, okay? And I think it says paranormal. He's on tomorrow, I think, at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. So please watch his show. It'll blow your mind. Monday night, Laura Lee at 5 o'clock, I think she's on. her. She'll be doing the Angel Rock show. And I keep missing it because all the time schedules are all off. 
And uh, as a lot of you know, Paul Francis is back on again, and we wish him well. He's going through some stuff right now. And at 1 o'clock, in a little while, Wendy and Phil show. Tune in, okay? And tell them we said hello. If we can tune in, well, we, will. we will. But I am going to get something to, to eat. I'm hungry. I'm going nuts. So, with all of that, God bless you too, my buddy. And don't forget to go thank the people. Thank you all for being here today. I will see you all Wednesday, God willing. On four, at 4 o'clock. And as Christopher says, love is life and life is love. And the Bears, no, since they let go of my cousin, my cousin used to play for the Bears. So they let him go. My cousin, Roberto. Roberto Garza. So everybody, happy Easter. We'll see you all. I got to get out of here. And let me see if I can do this right, okay? Take care, y'all. Bye. Oh, wrong one. Let me do the outro. Where is it? <laughs>